So here we are back in our beautiful piazza. Hopefully throughout the course of this morning, you've had a great opportunity to see all of the wonderful things about our Early Learning Centre from our educators, our parents, our children, our program, um, and hopefully all the, a lot of the questions that you've had have already been answered. But we have had a few come through, so thank you for using that chat function. If you've still got some, there's plenty of time still to send them through and, and you might see some little pieces of paper come sneaking through. Um, so the first question we've had through is, is food provided or ch do children need to bring their food from home? And the answer to that is yes, all food does need to come from home. So we ask that the family send along morning tea, lunch and afternoon tea each day for the students to have. Um, it's great then that you have um, uh, control over what your child is, is eating and, and how much they're eating. Um, and so we find that to be a really positive um, part of our program. There is an option for families to use our junior school canteen and you can place an online order through a, a system called Flexi Schools. Um, and then those little lunch packs of a sandwich and a, and a piece of fruit or a cookie come down here to the Early Learning Centre. But yes, all food does need to be sent along from home. Um, across the centre, we do ask for no nuts or nut-based products, but other foods are usually okay. And that leads on to um, the next question, which is about food allergies and what if um, a child has food allergies. Here in the Early Learning Centre, we're very well versed in all things to do with allergies and all of our teachers and educators have had um, formal training in um, both asthma and anaphylaxis um, management. So we're very well trained in all of that. So please feel assured that if your child does have allergies, we're well equipped to, to manage that. Um, so across the centre, we ask, of course, for the no nuts and nut products. And sometimes in individual rooms, if there are really severe allergies, we will um, ask that families don't send along particular foods for that environment as well. So it might be an egg-free environment or, or whatnot. Uh, we then ask that families send along any medication that their child needs. So it might be um, an antihistamine or, or an EpiPen that we have here on site at all times that we can administer if necessary. And for any child with any kind of medical um, issues, uh, we just ask that the parents make a time to meet with myself before the school year starts. And we talk through a, a risk minimisation plan. So what can we do here in the Early Learning Centre environment to make sure that your child is safe and, and well cared for and, and that we can manage any of those situations that might arise? Yeah. Um, a question about what's the process if my child is sick? Uh, good question, particularly um, at the moment. So we do have really strict um, health and hygiene kind of requirements, like all early childhood facilities. So certainly where children are, are unwell, um, we encourage them to stay at home until they're able to, to really um, effectively engage with the program. Um, so if they've needed medication or something in the morning, then perhaps they're not, not quite up to engaging fully in the program for that day. And we'd recommend that they stay at home. If they fall ill while they're here at school, certainly we'll care for them um, and, and you know look after them. And we'll give you a call to come and collect them as quickly as you possibly can. So um, yeah, we manage those situations as they arrive. Um, some questions about uh, kind of the structure of the program and when children can start. So I guess just to clarify, in both reception and pre-prep, there are both part-time and full-time options. So in reception, again, that's the three-year-old program, the first year here at the Early Learning Centre, children can attend either two days a week and those days are set as a Thursday, Friday, or they can attend five days a week. And in pre-prep, they can attend three days a week, which is set as a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or they can attend the five days a week. So they're the options on each year level. Um, and some questions about if we're wanting to enrol for next year, how we should go about doing that. So uh, we do have a limited number of places available in reception for next year. Uh, those are full-time places, I believe, but it's always worth getting in touch with the admissions department and talking through your own situation and, and what you're looking at for your child, because um, you can certainly go onto a, onto a wait list um, if a place becomes available. So, and, and knowing Canberra, there's lots of movement that often happens in the second half of the year. So it's always worth registering, registering your interest for a place um, either for next year or beyond from there. Also a little question about children whose birthday falls um, kind of February, March or April. So after the school year starts and they're turning three, particularly for a reception intake, 
So our licence here in the Early Learning Centre is for 36 months plus. So we do need children to have had their third birthday before they actually start attending. So for children who have those birthdays that's, that fall after the start of the school year, they can only commence once they've had their third birthday. So um, we've got a, a little friend, Abigail, who's going to be hopefully starting next year. Her birthday's in April. So she'll be only be able to start once she's actually had her third birthday in April um, and commence after that. Certainly we can talk about coming for some visits and, and starting to, again, take a little bit of ownership over this space and meet some of the children, but she can't formally attend um, until her third birthday. And sometimes we talk through perhaps the best option is then to start at the beginning of the next term, just to give that natural intake point um, after the school holidays. For those who have uh, those kind of February and early March birthdays, they may commence partway through term one um, on or after their third birthday. It's always a great way to celebrate your birthday being able to come to the ELC. A uh, question about if I start part-time, can I change to a full-time place or vice versa? Uh, look, there is always possibilities of doing that, but it does um, get a little bit tricky in certain circumstances. So um, because we have whole classes dedicated to both the part-time and the full-time class, to move between means changing class teacher and class group, which can sometimes be a bit disruptive for children. So um, while it is uh, sometimes possible in terms of there is a place available that a child could move into, sometimes we just need to talk through whether it's the best option to happen during a year or perhaps look at it for the following year. So certainly the admissions team um, can help talk through those kind of options with you. Um, and we do have a limited number of part-time places. So they are often really highly sought after. And because we only have the one class, there are quite limited places. So um, moving between uh, part-time and full-time can be a little bit tricky, but it is possible. So please get in touch and we can talk that through with you. A question about how many students in a classroom. So each class has a maximum of 22 children in each class. The adult to child ratio for this age group is one adult to 11 children. So we have the two educators, the early childhood teacher, and then the diploma trained, or, or we call them co-educator here in the early learning centre. So we've got two educators for each class of up to 22 students of boys and girls. Um, and so that across the centre, we have about 150 students on any given day. A couple of other questions coming through. What time can parents drop off their child in the morning? So because the um, classrooms operate from 9 till 3, if you're just using the, the core program, then drop off is at 9 o'clock. So you're welcome to come a few minutes before um, and you sit in this beautiful piazza space and, and there's some books and stories and things to read with your child um, and then you move through to drop them off to their classroom from 9 o'clock. If you need to drop off before nine o'clock, then you're welcome to book them into the before school care program. Um, and then they can be dropped off any time from eight o'clock in the morning. Um, the difference between our early learning centre and normal childcare, I guess, um, what I think is, is one of the key differences is our, our real focus on that educational nature of early childhood and the real importance of early childhood. And I think as a school, um, we really value this phase of development and we've committed to having a, a dedicated space that is all about children of this age and to staff it with specialist early childhood teachers who really have this age and stage of development as their passion. Um, and so everything they do during the day is about finding the teachable moment um, and creating situations where children are learning through play. And this is the best way that children of this age learn. And I think certainly our experience has been as our children move on to the junior school and beyond, and we've got some beautiful girls now in year 12 who come back to visit and the people that they are and the confidence that they have and where they're heading to in their life um, I personally feel very proud of, of the part that we've played in setting them up for success for their future. And certainly we see that going on to the junior school. Our students in prep are really well um, prepared for the more formal elements of schooling, of phonics programs and home readers and managing themselves in a primary school playground and then in that primary environment. Um, so I think that's the real, the real difference that we have is that we use play um, as that vehicle for learning and we have that, that central focus on um, learning, each child's individual learning and, and finding those moments to create that. 
So I think that is all of the questions. We've got one more last minute question that's come through. No, a couple. <laughs> um, so sunscreen, obviously sun protection is, is really important. Uh, we do ask that all families send along a little roll on sunscreen that their child can use during the day. And then we support the children to build that independence for applying their sunscreen during the day and the um, uniform that they have here might be another question coming up. The children here do wear a little school uniform. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but part of the uniform is a really beautiful blue um, broad brimmed play hat too. So yes, they apply sunscreen and wear their hat when they're outside and families are asked to send along that sunscreen from home. So if your child has a particular one that is best for them, then certainly um, that's all catered for. A question about how long boys can attend Canberra Girls Grammar School. So we are co-educational up until the end of year three. So from here in the Early Learning Centre, coming in as a three-year-old through to the end of year three, which is about eight or nine years of age. So they've got a really beautiful um, extended time where they can be here as part of our community. And we really value that co-educational um, offering here in the junior school up until the end of year three for our boys. Uh, can we come for a physical tour? Absolutely. We um, welcome the opportunity to show you around in person and so you can see things happening for yourself in, in real time. Um, so please just get in touch with our admissions team and they will organise a, a tour most likely with myself. Um, for those who are starting uh, the following any following year, we do that little interview process. Um, again, that's just a chance to come in and sit down with myself and have a bit of a chat and, and talk through, you know, your child and where they're at. And that's a great opportunity to have a good look around and, and see things operating um, as they normally do. So, yes, by all means, please get in touch with the admissions team and come in for a tour. Okay, any last questions? Um, or just one here about the two-day versus the five-day program and what's covered. Um, so I guess the reason that we offer the, the part-time and the full-time programs is that um, many children have beautiful opportunities to have an extended time at home with parents or other family members and we really value what that brings to a child and their relationships. And so to provide that option for a part-time placement, um, you know, really honours that. So obviously the, the pure volume of things that children and teachers can get through in two days versus five days or three days versus five days is a little bit different. But certainly our experience has been that, that um, the focus that the teachers have on those core skills sets all of the children up, regardless of whether they're here part-time or full-time, sets them up really well for success. And um, that's the other reason why we have dedicated part-time classes is so that they can cover what they're covering and, and go there with the children's interests, whatever they may be, within the context of their two or three days um, and then pick up on that the following week and, and they don't feel like there's things that are happening without them. So um, certainly, you know, we, we see value in both the part-time and the full-time options and, and really it's a personal um, preference for each individual family. So I think that now concludes our, our question and answer um, and really concludes our virtual open day for today. Um, so we want to really thank you for taking the time out of your Saturday morning to join us here in the Early Learning Centre. It's been so wonderful to, to share our program with you um, and we are so excited about the prospect of, of welcoming your child to our environment in the future. A couple of last um, housekeeping things. If you are keen to enrol, there's an enrol button in the top right corner of the event page. There's also lots of links to information and an inquiry form at the bottom of the event page as well. So you can scroll through there and, and find um, those buttons. Um, you can explore all of our um, Canberra Girls Grammar School campuses via our virtual tour, both the Early Learning Centre, not both, all of them. So the Early Learning Centre, the Junior School, the Senior School and the Boarding House all have wonderful virtual tours that will give you a lot more information and some visuals of the different um, aspects of our facilities. So please go and explore those. Um, there's also a, a quick little survey. We'd love your feedback on this morning and, and what you've found valuable and, and what we could tweak and amend and fix up for next time. So please um, do take a little bit of time, just five minutes, to complete the survey and help us out to, to make this even better um, in the future. So again, thank you so much. Please remember that all of this information is going to be available over the course of the weekend. Um, please feel free to share the link with family members or friends. We'd love to um, share our program and our Early Learning Centre with them as well. We know that choosing a school for your child and their education is 
um, a decision that lots of people want to be involved in and grandparents and, and friends and family members are all part of that. So we really, really welcome the opportunity to share what we do with all of them.